Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I'm back. Just got back from Collecticon. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? There we go. Proof in Saturday past. I've, had, I've never actually been to a Collecticon. I had no idea how big it actually was. Uh, jamming. Now, aside from the... Uh, this is not actually a product place. We're actually only going to open up one of these. But how do you guys think I did? We got Brilliant Stars. Because that last pack we did on the, on the battle... I was, a little, I was left a little uneasy. That booster box just did not give the hits I thought they would. And Costco beat it. If you've been following my channel for a while, <clears throat> then you know this latest saga was 36 Costco tins versus the booster boxes, which is Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, and Fusion Strike. Now, the, the booster box of Evolving Skies beat the brakes off of the Costco tins, but then the Costco tins won the Brilliant Stars. At the time I'm recording this, we haven't done Fusion Strike. That's, that's next week. Uh, I go live on Mondays and Wednesdays when we break it down. But Fusion Strike is going to be up to the uh, the holder. But I grabbed a couple mystery boxes. We did so. I grabbed Evolutions. It had a Venusaur pack. I don't know. Is this good? Is this going to be good? Do I leave this sealed or do I open it? I kind of want to open it. And then I won this on a uh, a drawing kind of thing. You had to guess the energy. Uh, and if you guess the energies right, you got a pack. If I guessed all of them right or none of them right, then I would have got a graded card. Fortunately, I did not do that. I thought it'd be cool because it was fire and grass energy. So it's like, you know what I'm going to do? I didn't fully understand the rules. So it's like, I'm just going to win a solid amount. I'm going to I'm gonna guess grass every time. Because out of 11 cards, if you win like seven, you get like a pack. I was like, watch this. This will be a cakewalk. Uh, I go, most people probably try to alternate. They probably get something wrong. Anyway, it was fire after fire after fire after fire. I was like, what is going on? Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this uh, KC Mystery Bag. So this is Gamer's Getaway. KC, I actually like this store a lot. They don't do a lot online, though. They like to protect, uh, or they have to give it to a local. So he makes these booster bags, booster boxes. As far as presentation goes, I don't know. He does, this, he's a solid guy. Uh, I don't know if I would buy something like this off of Amazon, but because I know the guy, I'd definitely give him that one. You guys know we had to finally grab some 151. I'm excited to open up that. I opened up my first two packs ever. And you guys saw that in the YouTube shorts. My first pack ever, we pulled the Mewtwo. Now, let me get this up here. If you buy anything from these guys, tag them on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Tell them I'm the reason you got something from them. Elite Trading Cards. Check us out on social media. Let's leave this up here for them. Hopefully, that's close enough for you to get. I have no idea who they are. I really don't. So, if you guys are like, do we love them or something like that? Because another guy came up as I'm walking around with this. He's like, yo, where's the elite table at? I'm like, am I missing out on something here? What's up with this? I might have to go back and get another one. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. 83 out of 100. Special edition elite mystery box. July 15th. We got Kansas City Collect a Con. Odds are as followed. One on one. We got five TCG booster packs. Booster, <laughs> booster packs. Backs, you know. Uh, one and two, five to four extra booster packs. One and three gets a random slab, $20 to 150. One and four Pokemon cards, $10 to 120 in value. One and 33 redemption box. Was it be, oh, we get another box? I would love that just for the <laughs> fact they get to do this again, get to pull that lever on the slot machine, you know? Cha ching, give me another one. Hopefully not seven, seven cherry, you know? Give me the jackpot. Uh, one and 20, you get a banger box. I don't know what that is, but it sounds amazing. Sounds legal too, you know, like not the. Uh... Anyway, <laughs> one in 100 gets a super banger box. Oh man. Hopefully, we got that one. I want to know what a super banger box is. They have no idea I have a YouTube channel. They have no idea I'm making this. Hopefully, they find out, like, yo, Don, you should make some more. Help us get our name out. The answer is yes. Yes, I would. Uh, let me get this open. I'm a big person on presentation, by the way, and this looks clean. Uh, I like how things are packaged. You know, like the PokéRev packs. I like it when the person takes the time to... Uh, Apple's the best example. Have you ever opened up an Apple product? There's magnets in the boxes. Asus as well. Uh, when, you, when they put the time into the box, man, that stands out to me. I've seen some Amazon mystery packs, and it's like bubble wrap. I'm like, come on. You could have just junked anything together and called it a day. So let's, uh, let's break this, this seal. Security seal. The not tampered with. So the only person that could have messed with this is the person that made it. So they're the only ones that could have given me some faulty stuff. Just kidding. This thing looks cool. What do we got? All right. So I don't have these sleeves. Now, I have a billion sleeves. And I counted them one at a time, as a matter of fact. Made it all the way to a billion. Then I stopped counting. I don't have this one. I'm sure you guys would tell me her name. 
but I don't know it. I'm excited to get something different that I haven't seen. This is cool. This box is cool. I'm already pumped about this. Do I hate these sleeves or do I like these sleeves? Do they got the matte finish? Looks like they do. I hate them. Absolutely hate them. Not Elite's fault. This is Pokemon's fault. Why would you ever put a holographic card in a matte finish that takes all the shine away? Here's how cool my binder could have looked, but I decided to not do that and give it a matte finish. Come on, go wrap your car a matte color. Don't try to matte your Pokemon cards, nerd. Whoever thought of that. So I do see a, a PSA graded card in there. <clears throat> oh, we got a little Elite sticker? Couple, so we're going to save that for last. Misty, she knows the way to my heart. I always mew you were the one. Well, you're probably old enough now. We were probably the same age when you came out. Hit me up, Misty. All right, we got Elite. That's actually pretty cool stickers. All right. We got Darkness Ablaze. We're rocking here. I don't know why I'm opening these sleeves like we're going to have to open those up. Okay, let's do the packs, and then we're going to do the uh, the card. The card card. Let's do one more shout-out to these guys. Make sure you hit them up. Scan that on your phone. Let's go. 10 out of 10 already. Because of the presentation, we're going to do this a little bit backwards. I'm going to grade them a 10 out of 10 for now. I want to go get another one of these boxes. Uh, but unless it sucks, then I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10. If we pull absolutely nothing and that graded card is like some Japanese. Like one time I opened a mystery box, it was a Japanese Eradicate. Not hollow or anything. I'm like, it's cool. It's a PSA 10. Thanks. But it's like someone putting a body kit on a, like a Chevy Cavalier. You know, it's like your first car. So you deck it out. And you're like, you probably shouldn't. Then you get older, like, I would have done that. Would have just bought a faster car in the first place instead of trying to make mine look fast. Anyway, thank you for taking time to grade that. Darkness Ablaze, Fusion striking out, Silver Tempted, but probably won't get a hit, Paldea Evolved, and Paldea Evolved. Now, we are filling that binder, so we get Iono in this. I'm selling the Iono, and I'm going to go buy all the mystery boxes. Just kidding. I need that one. Silver Tempest, let's do that first. We've opened up a lot of Silver Tempest on this channel just recently. Plus, someone in the comments said, Day 200 of asking for Silver Tempest, which we've already done a lot of. There's your code card. Shout out to the 800 subscribers, by the way. We did hit that 800 mark. We're 60 days into this. Where are we going to be at at day 90? It's got to be a 1,000. Got to be. <clears throat> Tora Cat. Dragonair. You can't make a bad Dragonair card. You just can't. I would take that graded. I'd be pumped about that. Feebass. Noibat. Snow Runt. That looks like something you really wouldn't want to walk on, you know? Sand Dial. If you're playing in the sand and that thing pops out, you're losing your mind. You're not thinking to throw a ball at it. You're probably thinking to throw a 12-gauge at it. Zorora, reverse rare. And we got a non hollow clean clang. Hey, we got we to clear our areas out. So if you guys haven't followed me, you guys know I put the, re the rares right here. The, the reverse hollows, and we got the rares right there. Uh, those are the only ones that I do collect because I do everything I put in a binder has to be shiny of some sort, which is why I don't like the matte sleeves. Uh, so when I master set anything, it's all hollows, baby. We got shine for days. It looks like a disco ball if you shine a light on that thing. A little kaleidoscope action. Snorlax is having the time of his life. Just laying in the... Must have ate all the apples. How many apples did that thing eat to be just lounging like this? How is there still an apple on that tree? That guy's got to put down some size, you know? Dark energy. Cross... Re cross receiver. I'm about to call it cross receiver. Sligu. Claw Witzer? What is that? Oh, that's its head? That's its arm? I thought it was like just a giant fish with no eyes and like a claw thing. Like, not bad. Mudkip just playing in the sandbox. Just kidding, he's not building sandcastles. That's actually a Pokemon. Caterpie hoping not to be worn as a hat by Bulbasaur. Eevee running away. Ninetales for the reverse. And we got a hollow toxicity. All right, darkness ablaze. Hopefully we set that hit board ablaze because right now we haven't pulled a single hit. We have not pulled a single hit. If we hit, if we did, it'd be on the hit board. We haven't done it yet. We have to get to Paldea Evolved because at least it comes with like three hollows. Like hopefully you get a hit in there. Now I do not blame the people that make the booster box for not getting a hit. It's not like they just set out for that. So far with pack collection, 
presentation. Everything was pretty cool. Can't wait to see what that coded coded card, the graded card is. We got Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Talon Flame for a reverse rare and a non hollow Galarian Surfetched Sword and Shield Edition. Because he's got the Sword and Shield too, I did there. That's probably like an actual thing. I didn't do anything, but you know, either way. Paldea. Is it so Paldea evolved? So is Paldea the base or is it the evolved version of like something else? All right, now you know I don't mix the silver and yellow borders because I'm not a sociopath. So let's see what kind of hits we got. Get that energy out of the way. Fletching, Voltorb, Clavel, Dunsparce, Miss Magus, Bramblegast, Toxicroak. We got a uh, hollow, or, or our first reverse is Larvitar. We our second one is Sandygast, the Sandcastle, you know, with no shapes. And a Garganacle Hollow Rare. This is what it looks like, kids. When you're building a sand castle, you don't put enough water in the sand. You just like you fill the bucket up, turn it upside down, and it's still dry, so it kind of melts into that. Imagine if it just started talking to you. Would you throw a ball at it? How do you catch that thing? Does it just go into the sand or something? What if I drop a Pokeball in the sand, and it was one of those just sleeping? Did I just catch that thing? Now I got to send it to the meat grinder or what? How's that work? All right. Oh, it looks like we finally got a hit on our last pack. Looks like we got something there. We did. I see the texture. So we, we did not make it out of this without a hit. We got something. It's going to be a good day. Even Dendra's jacked. She's like, yeah, got a hit. Palisand. Little kid took a little extra time on that one. Now, when the kid takes the extra time and grows the sand castle a little bit more, does it grow its vocabulary and everything too? Luxio for the first reverse. Corviknight for the second. And we got a Dedenne EX. Now, if I don't sleeve this, you guys do lose your minds. So we're going to sleeve that. We got one hit on the board in our EX pile. Boom. Not bad. Okay, not bad. So overall, mystery packs, you guys know how they work, right? There's good, there's bad. You can't judge them on the packs that are inside. Uh, but they did come with those packs nonetheless. Nonetheless? Did you guys hear that? Nonetheless. Uh, Misty, I always mew. You would be with Brock and not me. And I don't know how I feel about that. All right, last but not least, let's get that graded card out of here. So, why is my finger stuck in that thing? How did I get my finger stuck in a cardboard box that I'm opening? So, it's Japanese. I don't know how they... Where's the code at on this? I haven't flipped over these enough to... It, hang on, what is this? Why is that confusing me? Oh, so, that's nifty. They taped the... What is this? Oh, the bag is just torn? I thought they folded a Ziploc bag, and I was like, that's not cheap. That's actually, you're genius. Okay, so that actually does. Again, I know I'm weird, but I like the packaging. Anyway, that's that's safe, man. That was going to make it through some times. Uh, so what do we, how do they flip it? It's on the right side, is it not? We got a Brazong. Bronzong. She's debating on being a waifu. She's just not sure yet. 2021 Pokemon Japan Sword and Shield Full Art. Who's this out of? They all have silver borders. Oh, I guess it's not even. I was thinking like it's going to be one, but Japanese has their own sets. And their final score is we got a Gym Mint 10. Not bad. Give me one hot second. Let's see what this is even. Uh, where's my mouse at? There we go. Let's see what this is worth. We got uh, Bronzong. I'm going to work on the whole, like, we can do, you guys can see what I'm seeing, you know. 208. Let's see this. Bronzong. 208. Japanese. PSA 10. This is 4271. So, what were these? Th this this mystery box I think was seventy five. Take or leave it. Uh, not bad. What did we get? We got some sleeves. Realistically, you're probably not ever gonna use those, unless you're collecting them. I awkwardly do have a collection of them. Maybe one day they'll be worth a million. So you gotta. Uh, this has potential to be absolutely amazing. 
Uh, and he did say this. They were very upfront and honest. They said, hey, the uh, the ground floor of these, you're going to get about 50 bucks worth of value up to, uh, you know, 150, 200 bucks for most of them outside from the uh, the bangers. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. What do you guys think about that mystery box? Are you going to get one? And if you do, tell them Poke DK waterboarded you, almost choked the life out of you, tortured you, and said you have to buy one, and you're there just filling a service. They have no idea I'm making this, by the way, at all. Uh, but anyone that does make product, I'm going to try to push it. I'm gonna, Well, I'm going to open it. We're going to do it here on the channel, like a product review. Uh, and if they do well, they do well. It's your job to make that decision, not mine. I'm not in control of your money. But uh, would I ever work with people in the future? Of course. They had something good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below, how do you, how would you rate this? Do you do th weird things like rate it on like the packaging and all that? Out of a 10, 10 being like, that's a solid, I'm not, I'm not upset at anything. You pulled nothing. You, did, you got a hit on the board, that's it. You're, you're, you're okay with that. That's a 10. Uh, how are you grading this? I'm going to wrap it up here. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we're finally going to be like all the cool kids. We're going to open up Pokemon 151. Does this box not look super tiny? When I saw this little thing, I was like, what is that? It's like, that's the box. I was like, nah. I've seen pictures of this. <laughs> look how tiny it is. I don't know. I was expecting so much bigger. It was like the size of ETB, booster box, something. Look at this little thing. I can almost put this in my wallet. Anyway. I'm going to wrap it up here. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Uh, we're going to start opening up all this. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.